Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's All Me. I'm finally here, I'm finally back. The burping contest Q&A video. Now I know y'all have been waiting for this for a while and I wanna apologize, but I also wanna thank you for being patient with me in this process. Over the past couple weeks, I've been dealing with some health issues and if you follow me on Instagram or follow me on Facebook, you are aware of these things. I'm doing much better now. I would say I'm about 99% symptom free. I was dealing with a lot of pain and it was like electrical pain, burning pain, lower back pain, lower abdomen pain abdomen pain, just a lot of really gnarly discomfort. I had x-rays done, I had some blood work done. The blood work came back normal. I have just been treating the symptoms with some natural supplements. Um, they did put me on an antibiotic to treat, uh, treat some things. It actually was causing me to have utter confusion as well as a side effect that was included with the antibiotic, which was sudden seizing of tendons and rupturing of tendons. I didn't actually experience that. However, I did have a few times where this arm specifically, it tightened up out of absolutely nowhere and it hurt to the point of where it felt like I'd been lifting weights for quite a while. And I hadn't lifted weights in a while just because I wasn't feeling up to it. Got off that and my pastor actually suggested some natural supplements just because he had dealt with some of the similar things that I was going through. And so we put new videos on pause, we put everything on pause and I just wanted to get my health in check just to make sure that I was good and I wanted to always be able to give you guys 100%. I'm still not quite there yet, but I'm, I'm feeling confident enough to sit in front of this camera, open up some bubbly, whip out some questions and answers for you, as well as uh, some, some gnarly burps. So just a heads up, I have a bunch of questions on my phone that I'm just gonna kinda bowl it off a little bit. I've not prepared for this, so the answers you're gonna get are going to come from the top of my head. I figured I want it to be kinda like you're sitting across from me asking me these questions and I'm giving you the answers. I didn't wanna come with a whole you know portfolio of, of, of answers prepared. Um, I wanted to be able to give you the first thing that came to my mind or you know whatever it might be. So let's get right down to tonight's Burpicola. And the first one is going to be the Pulser, excuse me, the Polar Seltzer Water Mandarin flavor. This is something that I fell in love with when I first went to Virginia last year for the Vidi Space Film Festival, which is actually a year ago yesterday. No, a year ago today. I got this and it was delicious. I think I got the blueberry lemonade flavor. And then once I left Washington, I came back and I was ranting and raving to Tiny about how good it is. And so then we went to New York, we found more, fell in love with it together. And then this just randomly showed up at uh, one of our local Hy-Vee grocery stores. So I got this, I got it the night that we found it and I was whipping off burps like nobody's business. So I was like, yes, this is an absolute no brainer. Gotta go with the polar seltzer water. The next, I have the number one soda from the last time that Seth and I did our burping contest rematch, did Coke Zero because this baby gets me going. So as always, they are both unopened and ready to get this party started. Let's dive right in, shall we? Let's get some questions going. We will first start with the Polar Seltzer Water. So let's open that baby up. Woo. All right, let's get this little smell here. Ah, smells good. All right, here we go. It's probably one of my least favorite flavors I've ever had, to be honest with you, with the Polar. It's good, it's just not as uh, flavorful as other flavors that I've had. Let's get to the first question. This first question comes from T Jazz Johnson Productions on YouTube. My man, what's up? Thank you for your loyalty, thank you for your question. Uh, T Jazz Johnson says, my Q&A question is list five of your favorite music artists, DJs, producers. Obviously I've done a video on Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is my absolute number one favorite music artist, hands down, of all time of all category, of all genre. It's just, it's the music that speaks to my soul in a way that no other music does. They are a Christian heavy metal band. Second, and this, honestly, this is in no particular order outside of Demon Hunter being number one. I love Linkin Park. Absolutely love Linkin Park. Love them for a large portion of my life, basically since high school, early 2000s. Basically when they hit the scene with their, their very first album, Eiffel 65 is another one. And if you're unfamiliar with Eiffel 65, which is hard to believe, they are the ones who did the song Blue, da ba dee da ba die They have an extensive catalog, not only as Eiffel 65, but also as another name, Bloom 06. 
They've released two albums and a couple uh, EPs under that, uh, that name, and it's truly some of my absolute favorite music. Uh, another one, I think it would be number four, is Enya. I absolutely love Enya. There's just something about the way that she sings and delivers all of her music. It's relaxing. It opens up my creativity, and I honestly, I cannot get enough of it. Every year when I tally up the, the artists that I listen to the most, Enya is always somewhere on the list. Tom McDonald, honestly, right now is one of my absolute favorite artists. And if you've never heard of Tom McDonald, he's an independent rapper. And just recently, over the last month, he has skyrocketed in fame, I guess you would. And he's very controversial. The song that kind of has taken him to the next level is called Fake Woke. And so if you haven't checked it out, check out Fake Woke by Tom McDonald here on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, basically anywhere you can listen to music. I think you'll, you'll be in for a little bit of a surprise. If you don't like rap music, still check it out because a lot of fans of his music do not like rap. Check it out. So there you go. Demon Hunter, Linkin Park, Eiffel 65, Enya, Tom McDonald. Those are five of my absolute favorite music artists. Now, as far as producers, Scott Storch, he's done incredible, incredible work with the likes of 50 Cent, Eminem, and then Timbaland is another one who, anytime him and Justin Timberlake hook up, I'm pretty much right there. I love it. Justin Timberlake is another absolute favorite artist of mine. In Sync is another absolute favorite of mine. Honestly, I love every kind of music with all of my heart, except for current country music. I cannot handle the whole pop country movement. It's just not my thing. I understand it is for a lot of people and that's great. That's why it's there. I'm more of a 80s and 90s country fan, more the outlaw kind of country and before it had that pop element into it. So there you go. Oh, I just threw up in my mouth. All right, this seats, it does a pretty good job. Next question comes from my brother, Seth. Who you can check out here on YouTube as well. Ready, Seth, go, follow his channel. He's really gonna be focusing on adding to that channel this year. And I think he has a really cool personality for YouTube. If you guys are a fan of things that I do, I really think you'll be a fan of the things that he does. So Ready, Seth, go, make sure you check him out. Seth asks, where do you find most of your support coming from? Friends, social media, complete strangers. What are my thoughts on that? My biggest support system is my close family. That would be Tiny, that'd be my parents that would be Seth. No matter what I do, they are there to support me. And I cannot express how grateful I am for that. Outside of that, honestly, my biggest supporter since he found my channel, I think it was March of 19. So just a few months after I started this, his name is Pedro. Pedro has been with me since nearly the beginning. And he first commented on my video, Guys Weekend with Dave, which if you haven't seen that, check it out, it's right up there. Um, it's pretty funny, has a lot of great in interesting things, and it has, I think, the very first time I absolutely ripped on camera. So if you like farts, check it out, because that's actually what I think Fish Pedro into uh, to being a subscriber. Anyways, Pedro has been there with me basically from the beginning. I have no idea how many subscribers I had at the time, but it was less than 40, Le probably less than 30, honestly. The support this dude gives me is just amazing. You can go through pretty much any of my videos and you will find the absolute most long, most invested comment regarding that video that you will ever see. He literally takes note of every detail. It's it's extremely humbling and extremely encouraging because I don't, I've never even met this person in person, but this avenue of YouTube has allowed me to connect with him on a very deep personal level. I have love for this dude and appreciation for him. I have several other very loyal YouTube followers and they have just been awesome when it comes to my videos and just watching them, commenting, just creating that that relationship, reaching out to me on Instagram and you know things like that, just chiming in and letting me know that they appreciate the, the work that I put into to this YouTube thing. So thank you to everybody. Um, thank you to all of you for your support. I just, I cannot tell you how much it means to me. So let's uh, let's get back to the, the water and start getting some more burps and get some more questions going. All right, so the next question comes from Tyler Kruger, um, also on YouTube. Check him out, TK's house, TK apostrophe S house. Here on YouTube, he does gaming videos. So if you're into gaming and watching gaming, 
check him out. He is hilarious. His laugh is infectious and I guarantee you, you will literally begin to watch his videos just to hear him laugh. His laugh is absolutely hilarious. Tyler says, is there anything new and exciting in the near future that you want to film content of? From the beginning of the year, it's a little difficult because you never really know what that year is gonna turn out to be. The plans that I had for 2020 turned out to be way different simply because of COVID. 2021, the only thing right now that I know of is we will be vacationing to Myrtle Beach this summer. And I cannot wait to get out there and video that, do some vlogs and videos out there. Otherwise, the thing that I'm excited about for this channel is really digging into my creativity and seeing what I can pull up. I do have a video that I am working on in the process of putting it together and figuring out how I wanna do it. It is what many know as a mukbang or a mukbang. Basically, it's a video where you eat a lot of food. What I wanna do is I wanna share the story of an it's only video that never happened and share the details of what the plan was, why things went the way that they did and why it was never brought to YouTube. In doing that, basically in, in that story time, I'm going to be eating food. I've actually had requests for this so we're just gonna give it a shot. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see where that goes and if you all enjoy that. If you think that's a great idea, comment down below. Let me know that that's something you definitely wanna see and we will make sure that that happens. His last question is, what is your goal for your YouTube channel? My main goal for starting this was to work on my passion of filmmaking and to hone my craft. Again, I've been doing uh, filmmaking now for over 20 years. There was a long time where I never really did things on my own. I worked with Seth on a lot of stuff or I did the filming and Seth did the editing. And I was going through a really rough time in 2018 and uh, God really showed that it was time to rediscover my passion. And that's what YouTube has allowed me to do is a really rediscover my passion for filmmaking and editing and being creative. And there's been so many great blessings that have come out of that. Another goal is to create a personal journal of my life, not only for myself, but for other people that want to enjoy it. And clearly so many people do, but for my kids in the future to be able to look back on this YouTube channel and see the things that their parents did, you know, as they were walking through the beginning years of their marriage is really exciting to me. Thirdly, um, this is something that I would like to do as a uh, source of income and to be able to support you know, our family and uh, our adventures and things like that. And so I'm still in the process of trying to figure out merch and I'm always trying to think of the, the best kind of content to bring you so that you know this is become something that more and more people wanna see to see you know what, what God has in store for that and where he wants to take that. So Tyler, thank you for your questions, my man. Again, TK's house, gaming videos, check him out. Matt Downey 76 on Instagram says, hey Jesse, about how many of those puffed out cheap gulps does it take to build up the air for a good burp? Well, honestly, I don't really gulp the air. It's just, I can feel one right here and basically whatever I'm able to do with the back of my throat, it just kind of clicks. <clears throat> And it happens. I don't suck in air. I never have. It might look like I'm puffing out my cheeks, but honestly, I'm not sucking in air. It's just sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, granted, I do suck up air on many occasions, and sometimes it takes one long puff to get that burp going. But for the most part, I don't suck in a whole lot of air when I burp. It's just I bring it all in, and then I'm able to bring it all back out. Next question, Bradney Pratt on Facebook asks, why are you so gosh dang cute? I'm gonna keep this simple and plain for you. My dad and my mom have good genes and they gave them to me. What can I say? All right, <laughs> thank you for that question, Bradney. Let's get some more burps. Ah, <laughs> oh, mercy. All right, you know what? We're gonna switch over to the Coke. I'm about halfway through this, but I'm gonna just open this up and pour it in the glass and take it from there. All right, let's take a sip of that bad boy. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> I ate a lot of food before I started filming, so I'm burping a lot of that up. Extra chunky tonight. Next question from YouTube, ABC1997 asks, what's your favorite drink to burp? As far as 
getting the good burps out, Coke Zero is by far one of my top ones. I had fantastic luck with that back in September. That definitely hits the top of the list. However, energy drinks are like one of my favorite things to drink. And so when I'm able to burp off of those, it's, I mean, you just can't get it any better than that. Their second question is what kind of car do I drive? I drive a 2011 Chevrolet Impala bright red. You've probably seen me in it. You've probably seen me driving it. You've probably seen me talking about it. The name of my vehicle is Fire Sauce, named after Taco Bell's hot sauce, which is my favorite hot sauce that they have there. Now, the reason we chose Fire Sauce as the name, and I say we because Tiny and I worked on it together, is I believe in one sitting, I used 15 packets of Fire Sauce while eating Taco Bell, and I didn't have diarrhea after, so I think that's a win. Third and final question, where would you like to go? And I'm assuming they're asking, where would I like to travel? That is an absolute no-brainer for me. It is 110% Norway. I have a Norwegian background. I'm filled with Norwegian blood. God bless Coke Zero. I actually still have family in Norway and it's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. If you've never looked up the, the sights of Norway, do it. The fjords are unbelievable. To be able to go visit family that I have in Norway, to see the land where my family came to be has been a dream of mine for so long. And I promise you, there will be a future video series in Norway on this channel because I refuse to let that dream die. So I'm telling you right now, February 22nd, 2021, I will be in Norway with my wife and we will be exploring the crap out of that amazingly beautiful country and I cannot wait. ABC 1997, thank you so much for your question. Next question comes from John Sarmiento and I apologize if I mispronounce that name. Question is, can you burp the entire alphabet on command? now? I did ask for some clarification if they wanted the entire alphabet in one long burp or just like burping throughout. Clarification was yes, I was asking if you could both burp the alphabet in one consecutive burp and if you could also do it in separate burps. Now, <laughs> you guys know that I can push out some powerhouses, but I don't know, I think the alphabet's what, like 27 characters? That's a really long burp, plus I need extra air to bump out all the letters. So let's see how much of that I can do. Gotta work it up, gotta work it up. I'm gonna come back to that. So we're gonna go to a couple more questions and when I feel that burp is ready, we'll come back to burping the alphabet for you. John Sarmiento. Uh, the last handful of questions that I have are from Pedro, the gentleman that I referenced earlier. What are your favorite movies? My number one favorite movie is Joker, starring Joaquin Phoenix. I think as far as filmmaking is concerned, it honestly does not get better than that film for me. Again, for me, it, it has to have emotion, it has to have story, and it has to have beautiful cinematography, beautiful production, and beautiful sound. And this, what I mean by sound is music, a beautiful soundtrack. All of these things work together to make art. That is why I love that movie so, so much is because everything came together in this beautiful art piece, Alphabet. Baby C, D, E, F, G. Ah, oh, got to G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I got seven. H, A, B, G, L, M. Almost there, L, M. N, O, B, Q, I, B, N. That was gross. D. No, we're gonna redo T. D U B W. Almost there. W X Y B D. Could you understand it all? Probably not. Was it super impressive? That's up for you to decide. A little rusty. Something I can continue to work on. There you go. The alphabet. Not in one fell swoop but in several chunky blurbs. Other favorite movies. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I literally just keep burping up protein powder. All right, refill.
Second favorite movie, Scarface, starring Al Pacino. Probably the most F-words I've ever heard in a film. Maybe not anymore. So yeah, Scarface. <sighs> Outside of that, I have a lot of movies that I love, like love, love. Um, Passion of the Christ. I rarely cry to, to, to movies or TV. Um, I'll get teary-eyed, you know, things like that. But as far as like fall, full out crying, that's only happened twice with Passion of the Christ. And I had actual tears when I finished the series Dexter, which I was very surprised by those tears at the end of Dexter. But if you've seen it, you understand. So I also love the Book of Eli with Denzel Washington. It's a post-apocalyptic film. It is amazing. So many other great, great films out there that I absolutely adore. Just way too many to think of or, or name off right off the top of my head. Next question, describe the perfect day. What would you do? It's really hard to say exactly what the perfect day would be, but I believe in this moment, it would include waking up feeling fully rested, having a cup of coffee with creamer that is the perfect amount of sweet and coffee flavor together. Not too sweet, not under sweet, not too much coffee, not too little coffee, perfect amounts of both. A walk out onto a balcony or a giant deck, doesn't matter. An area that I can walk outside of the, the home that I'm in and see a beautiful, mountainscape. The sky is partly cloudy. There's got to be just enough white fluffy clouds in it with a, with plenty of blue sky. It's probably about 9 30 to 10 o'clock in the morning and it's not hot but it's not cold. It's probably like 67 degrees with a very light breeze. I'm drinking that coffee. I'm taking it in. I'm listening to birds chirping. I can hear like a stream. After that it's loading up a vehicle with all sorts of delicious snacks, energy drinks, and heading out with Tiny to go sightseeing and to go hiking. And on this hike, it is just strenuous enough to where when you get to the end of it, you feel very accomplished and that you get this incredible sensation of we did that and we earned this view or we earned you know this feeling that we have. After that, it's now dusk and the windows are all down in the vehicle that we're in and there's just this slightly cool yet warm breeze coming into the vehicle. We're listening to a, a song that fits that vibe perfectly. Again, I don't know exactly what that is right now. Some John Mayer maybe. And sipping on an energy drink, knowing that ahead of us, we have some good food. We have some video games to play together, whether it be Mario Party or something like that. A hot tub to just relax soak the sore muscles from the walk and just resting and relaxing until we go to bed in an extra large king size bed that's not too firm, but not too soft. And then I gotta have fans to sleep with. So I gotta have like one to two fans, one specifically blowing on me, and then I fall asleep and do it all over again. That's about as perfect of a day that I can put together for you right now. And I think I need to make that happen. That sounds like anyway. What is something you would never do or try in your life. The very first thing that just came to my mind is I've seen videos on YouTube of people like scaling the sides of cliff faces. Like there's like these rickety boards along the side of a cliff and they're hooked with a carabiner and some mountain climbing gear so that they don't fall. And they're literally walking the edge of this this cliff, but they're not even on the edge. They're literally walking the cliff and they're hundreds and hundreds of feet in the air. Never. I would never, ever do that. Not only would I not want to, I wouldn't be able to. Now, I understand there's people who are gonna say, oh, you're allowing your fear to hold you back. Sure, I will be the first to admit that that's exactly what I'm doing. I have a, a very strong fear of heights. I've worked my way to being less afraid of specific heights than I used to be, but that is just something that I would find zero enjoyment out of. I wouldn't be able to enjoy the view. Nothing of that sounds enjoyable to me. And I think I'm actually starting to stress sweat thinking about that. So that is one thing that I would absolutely put off the list and say, absolutely not. <laughs> Oh, I think that might take the cake so far. <laughs> Next question, how did you learn to belch like a pro? I'm sure everybody wants to know that, LOL. Honestly, um, 
I always found burps to be absolutely hilarious. I don't know why burping and farting make me laugh more than anything. And at a young age, I realized that I could burp. I can't explain it farther than that. I just can burp. Throughout my life, anytime I had a pop, I would burp. Anytime I drank anything carbonated, I would burp. Because carbonation helps. As you can see, I always drink something with carbonation. It just helps accelerate the process. And it was just natural and always has been. And it's just something that I, I find that comes easy to me and I enjoy doing it. But more than enjoying it myself, I enjoy that other people enjoy it. Like, it's crazy. When I had this I, the idea to do burping contest, I was looking for something that I had never seen before on YouTube. And I know that there's other videos now, but when I first came up with this idea, I looked on YouTube to see who's doing these burping contests? Who's doing this? I found nobody. And so I thought, you know what? Why not be a trendsetter and jump out there and see if anybody enjoys this and see if this catches on. And it did. It quickly became the most viewed video on my channel. And every single time that I have a burping contest video, it is the top viewed video on my channel. So it's definitely something that you guys enjoy watching and it's something that I enjoy doing. Um, again, as far as my craft, it's just something that I'm able to do. I really can't explain it. Just like some people can fart on command, like they can suck air through their butt. Like I don't understand that concept, but they can do it. I've met someone who can literally fart whenever they want to. That's me with burping for the most part. It's not like I can just go and just whip out a doozy whenever I want to. It, it doesn't work like that, but pretty close. Next question, what are words to live by? So what, what do I consider words to live by? Oof, I'm starting to get waterlogged. Words to live by. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never, ever give up on your dreams. That's all I can say. It is something that I've never, never done. Now, granted, I've gotten to a point where I've forgotten about my dreams or I've been distracted away from my dreams, but I've never stopped pursuing them, even subconsciously. I've always found myself coming back to them. So all I wanna to say to you is if there is something that you enjoy, something that you're drawn to, no matter what that is, it could be drawing, it could be racing, it could be filmmaking. <laughs> <laughs> a limo driver, it does not matter. Whatever you are drawn to, seek that out fervently and don't give up on that. That is something that I believe you are born with. It is in your DNA. It's what God has designed for you to do. Pursue that with all of your heart and I promise you, you'll be surprised at where it takes you. Those are my words to live by. <laughs> Oh, that burp literally climbed a ladder at my esophagus. One more question. You really like Demon Hunter. Did you ever have a band or have you thought about starting one? So here's kind of a cool little thing, a little fun fact for you guys. If you go to my videos here on my YouTube channel and scroll all the way to the oldest videos, there are two songs. One I believe is My Life Part One and the other is Expired Love. Those are rap songs that I wrote. 11 years ago today, I released my very first hip hop mixtape. So yes, I used to write and record rap songs very regularly. And I, I would go under the name of J Masta, which stands for Jesus is Master. It started in high school with my buddy, Gert, who has also been on my videos. And in the locker room, we used to call each other um, J Masta and G Dog. And we used to just like 
quote unquote freestyle, just whipping out just random stupid lyrics and acting like we were hip hop artists. And then it got to a point where in 2008, I decided, you know what? I'm going to record my very first individual song. I wrote and recorded a song called All Night, All Day. It's kind of like this club banger, if you will. And from there, I just kept writing and recording songs. Since then, I released the Reaching Out mixtape, also the Life and Death EP. So I did two quote unquote albums as a hip hop artist. And if this is something that you guys would ever like to hear, you know, I can figure out a way to put them online and you can download them and or I can put up some songs on my channel and let you guys hear my old music. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Hopefully you enjoyed this Q and A. I did not read all of the questions. <laughs> If you'd like me to make a part two of this burping contest Q&A part two, I'd be more than happy to do that. Just comment down below and let me know. If we get uh, 20 likes on this video, I will do a part two for sure. Give us part two, we want part two. We want more burps, we want more Q&As, we, uh, we want the whole shebang. Let me know, man. You know, um, also about that uh, mukbang and mukbang video, I would really like to gauge your guys' interest in that. You know, let me know if it's something that you enjoy because I, I'm definitely always leaning towards you guys to see, you know, what kind of content you're looking for. Now, I know you always want burping contest videos, especially in today's world where, you know, we have to be cautious about everything. It's harder to get together with people. So I do the best that I can, which is why I decided to do the burping contest Q and A videos. I cannot tell you how much your support means to me. Thank you again, just for all your support, for sharing the videos and liking the videos, subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, if there's any other questions, leave them down below. If you do want the Q&A part two, leave a question down below and I will answer your question in the next part. But in the meantime, let's see if I can work up a couple more burps and send you guys off with those. <laughs> I'm getting logged up, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is man burping contest Q and A with it's all me. Thank you for joining me. Leave a comment down below if you want to see Q and A part two. Leave a question. Hit that thumbs up button. Twenty likes for sure guarantees. Part number two. I will see you in the next one. Whoosh.